Hello and welcome to a Green Man video. I'm Matt. Now in this video I've got an unboxing for you. I've got all the information here about it. So the product is here. You might be able to see this. So you're probably guessing a hi-fi maybe. Well it's the Sony C69i iPod dock. You might be thinking well, that doesn't really look like an iPod dock to me. Normally an iPod dock would be a bit smaller and well it just doesn't look like that, that looks like a massive hi-fi you know, bigger speakers as you can get kind of thing well, yeah it's got a iPod dock here at the front and it's a hi-fi basically on the front of here it, it says a mini hi-fi component system it's not just an iPod dock it can do many other things so, for yeah, it's an iPod dock so you can put your iPod in, your iPhone or any other MP3 player it's got built-in FM and AM radio tuner and it's got a CD player in it. So yeah, FM, AM, the speakers are 50 watts each and the overall power of it is 170 watts. It's got a remote control with it and an LCD display. It's got a graphics equalizer with seven great presets and it gives out clean and crisp sound so I got this from Asda for £77 which I thought was very good you know you've got some good audio power output there 50 watts, 50 watts each and you've got the CD and the radio as well and you can also connect it to your PC so there's a audio import cable uh, port I'm not sure there's an actual cable with it, but they're very cheap to get anyway. So you can connect your PC, your Mac, and any other device which has an output of sound. So there's, well, that's lots of devices really. So yeah, £77 from Asda, this is a great deal. I've seen it on Amazon.co.uk only a few days ago because I was looking at these speakers. Um, because I think the smaller ones don't aren't as loud. There are some good ones, but I wanted something like this, really. And, yeah, on Amazon, they were £98 or something, so I saw this and I thought, I'll just get it. £77 is good for this. So, I'm going to unbox it now. Right, so there you go. That's the box. And just to show you how big it is, that's the iPhone 3G box on top of it. So, it's a big box. But I don't think they're going to be really, really big speakers. They're going to be bigger than the ones I've currently got, which are these ones up here. And I'm going to still keep these ones. I'm going to have it so they're both connected to my computer. So it's more of a surround sound experience. And yeah, this box will have a lot of packaging in probably. So I'm going to get into it now. Right, so on the box you've got Sony logo. And then you've got the you know, features and things of it. And that's the code, the model number, sorry. Um, made for iPod and just a few of uh, uh, the official FIFA partner. So, just you know, all the details of it on the sides and things. These are all the iPods it works with. So, you know, you've got most of the iPods and it said on the on the website it said it works with the iPhone it doesn't say on here it works with the iPhone if it doesn't um, I'm not really that bothered because I'm going to be using it mainly with my computer and I have also got an iPod Classic not an iPod Classic I've got the iPod 5th uh, generation video that one there and so I can just use that because well I do use my iPhone you know my pocket and stuff obviously it's a phone and so I can just leave this iPod in here and if the iPhone does work with it it's good um, and I can use it as a charger for my iPhone as well just dock it in starts charging up right so let's unbox it now I've got a knife and I'll get into this as you can see I'm unboxing it on the floor because it's too big for my desk and you'll be able to see it better from where I'm recording it now. I 
As I said before, there is a lot of packaging in this. And you might, you know, packaging lots of it in there, and it's probably a bad thing, but it's not because it protects your purchase. Bit of a pain to get rid of and that, and you know, polystyrene gets everywhere, all bits of it. Anyway, we're in now, so I'll get everything out and give you a quick look at it. That's the remote control there. It's a Sony uh, remote control, you know, basic commands and functions on it. Here we've got the instructions and all the information you need to know about it and the aerial for the built-in radio. Uh, now we've just got a bit of packaging and the first speakers are appearing, I can see them. So I'll get this, I think this is the speaker, it might be the main unit, I'm not sure, but I'll get it out. Doesn't seem too heavy. I've got a feeling it is the main main unit though because well it looks quite big really for a speaker. And then here we've got the two speakers. And so these are the speakers here. There. And the main units here. So we'll have a, a closer look at these now. Right, so this is the main unit, the place that you're going to be, you know, putting your iPod in, changing the volume. Let's get into here. Just being careful because I don't want to damage it. <laughs> so, whoa! Now, that is nice. Yeah. So this is the, I'll just put the knife over there. Uh, this is where the iPod goes in, just there. And, and then this is the big volume control here. And, you know, you've got the screen there. The CD is on the top. And then you've got a phone uh, socket there to put headphones in. And you all the things on the back. So there you go. It's not too heavy actually. Uh, so that's the main unit. And then here you've got the two speakers. I'll just do one of them because they'll be both the same.
There you go. That's the that's what the speakers look like. This is the remote control I got with the Hi-Fi system. So, you know, it's just got all the function, volume, up and down, settings, uh, you know, all the usual buttons, just the remote control, basically. So that's it there. And there you have the aerial for the radio and information booklets and instructions, that kind of thing. So that's that there. Right, so thanks very much for watching this unboxing of the Sony C69i iPod dock which I got from Asda for £77. I think that was a great deal and they look really nice so I can't wait to you know start using them. Thanks for watching this video, see ya. Right, so I unboxed the, uh, the speakers, the Hi-Fi, the iPod dock thing. I set it up and uh, it was, well it was actually while I was recording the video, the unboxing that I realised that there was no there's no way of connecting it to my PC, there was no input from your PC to these speakers I didn't say that in the video just then um, but I've just packaged them back up so it's all, all back in the box just there and so what I'm going to do is take them back to Asda um, and hopefully get my money back for them. They're all packaged up in there, you know, I've not really touched a lot of it, unpackaged all of it, so I should get my money back. Uh, but the reason why um, I've had this problem is I looked on their website, Asda's website, at this deal and um, it didn't say there was a PC input on there. But I thought there wasn't many specs on there, there wasn't much information about these speakers. So I went onto Sony's website, I found these exact speakers, the exact same model, and I looked at all the inputs and all the features and all the all the specifications about these speakers and it said on it PC yes. PC yes. So on Sony's website it confirms that you can use these with your computer so you can send all your the audio inputs to here from my computer but you can't you can't do it it says it in the uh, instruction manual um, it has a little star next to the PC input socket and then it has the model number you can do it on some models of these speakers but not this one um, if you want to you've got to get the more expensive ones which are about 60 quid more and then you can put your computer, connect your computer to it so I'm going to return them and hopefully get my money back and then after that I'm not quite sure I think I'm going to wait a while I think I might, I'm going to, I might send a, a letter to Sony um, saying about this because it's been quite annoying and disappointing because these are really good speakers I set them up I plugged one of the speakers in and put my iPod in the dock and it, it works great. Oh, my iPhone works with it as well. The sound is very good. They're very good speakers except it doesn't do one of the things I thought it was going to be doing and that's connected to my PC and playing my audio through there because that's what I do at the moment with my current speakers and you know you can play your video through it and stuff like that. And I was thinking that if I had these speakers and my current ones already all plugged in, it'd be really, really good. Um, but that's not the case, so I'm, I'm disappointed in Sony really this time. It's not a big thing, I mean, they've got the website a bit wrong, but still, you know, I've had lots of products from them. And, you know, I've got this camera from them, my PlayStation, a few other things that I've got from Sony. Um, but yeah, I'm, a bit, I'm disappointed about these speakers. Right, it's now April 2010, a long time since I made the actual unboxing of the Sony Hi-Fi that I got. Um, so what I did was I took the speakers back in the box to Asda, I got my, my money back, full refund, and then I sent a letter to Sony saying, you know, it states on your website that it's got a PC in jack, and in actual fact the product doesn't have one at all. So yeah, I sent a letter to them, and I got a reply from them quite soon, I've got it here. 
Uh, thank you for your letter received on the 13th of January. I am sorry to read of your disappointment with the Sony MC-EC69i and can fully understand your wish to bring this matter to our attention. Having looked into the matter for you, I can confirm that there is no PC in jack on the above Hi-Fi model. I understand that the Sony website states that otherwise and I have made the relevant body aware of this. Sony does welcome feedback from our customers and with this in mind I have passed your comments to the product management team for their information. Yours sincerely and their name. So they are aware of it and they, they do know I was correct and that was good. Um, and so no, it's, it's alright I got my money back and I sent them a letter explaining. But the last time I checked, which was probably a few weeks ago, or maybe a month ago, uh, they still haven't changed the website, which is a bit annoying, seeing that I, you know, I sent them a message, you know, a letter. Um, but, yeah, I've not got them anymore, but I did an unboxing of them anyway, so I made a video out of it. So, um, will I be getting any more speakers, like an iPod dock, maybe? I might do. Uh, there is a more expensive version for, I think, about £130, which does definitely have... PC in jack, or I might get an actual proper iPod dock, which is like um, well, just a speaker at the back, and then like a Bose one, maybe something like that. I'm not sure at the moment. I'm not really that bothered. It was just a Solomon Aston, a good price. So there you go. Um, so I got my money back, and I sent a letter to Sony about it. See ya. Bye -bye.